Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to my personal review of the Gazelle laptop from System76. System76 is a USA-based company that sells computers with Linux pre-installed in it. Computers and Linux, two of my favorite things in the world. You can check everything they offer on their website system76.com and you can go through all the different customization and possibility that you have with different machines from laptop to desktop to servers. This is a company that ships Linux out of the box so you won't have to worry about hardware incompatibility issues, updates that break your Wi-Fi adapter or one of your keyboard keys not working as it's supposed to do. The Gazelle that I pick comes with the following configuration. A 15.6 inches 1080p LED backlit display, it's matte, not glossy, so you won't leave your fingerprints on it. 3.8 GHz i7 7700 HQ Intel processor with integrated HD graphics 630, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM at 2400 MHz, 250 gigabytes of NVMe PCIe M.2 SSD, Bluetooth and Wi Fi adapter up to 867 megabits per second. This is not the biggest of the configurations and I did it on purpose. I didn't want my laptop to feel heavy or be too expensive out of the box before getting used to it. In terms of port and accessibility we have pretty much everything we could dream of. On the left side we have the power plug, Ethernet port, VGA connector, full HDMI, USB Type-C, USB 3 and an SD card reader, while on the right side we have headphones and microphone jacks, USB 2, USB 3.1 and Kensington lock. Overall I'm pretty satisfied with what this laptop has to offer, but of course there are some things that I would like to change, so in order to conclude this review in a high note I will list before all the things that I don't like and then at the end I will list all the things that I love. Starting from the trackpad, I'm sure I got too spoiled by the Apple trackpads, super accurate and clicky, but this one is just really hard to use. Doesn't come with any palm recognition, so it happens too often that you accidentally move the cursor while typing and if you have enabled the tap to click options like I did, you're gonna have some serious issues. The buttons are cheap plastic things that feel like they're gonna break soon, not great at all. The headphone jack is in a weird spot, too far down in the layout of the laptop where I find myself easily accidentally resting my arm on it or hitting it while using a mouse. Having it on the top corner would be way better. The screen frame feels like it's not totally attached. You can see these gaps at the bottom of the structure and overall it doesn't feel too sturdy and it bends a lot if you push it in the middle. The camera is just no, it's listed on the website as a 1080p HD camera but it's really hard to use and I don't know if it's a hardware or a software issue but the only way I was able to have a smooth, a smooth footage was to downgrade the size to uh, 480p. Even at 720p, it's okay, but it's not that great, so um, I wouldn't worry too much about a camera. I'm done with negative things, I swear, <laughs> I'm finished. Overall, I really love this laptop, and everything else that this laptop comes with, it's perfect for me. The keyboard is fantastic, smooth and comfortable, with built-in backlighting, perfect for long coding nights. The screen is bright and clear, and even if maybe a high DPI screen would have been better, in my opinion, a 1080p for a 15 inches display is the perfect resolution. The main body feels robust and solid, the battery is replaceable, the amount of ports is perfect, it's portable and light, weighing only 2.5 kilos. I know it's not the lightest of the laptops available, but we're getting too spoiled with thin and super light laptops that then gives us too many compromises in terms of functionalities, upgradabilities and ports. And the overall design is appealing and not boring. What I really love about this laptop is everything that it represents. The fact that it comes with Linux pre-installed, the fact that every single piece of hardware inside the machine was tested by the people from System76 to be sure to remove any issue or incompatibility with hardwares with pretty much any Linux distribution available out there. This machine and the machines that System76 built represent the real true core of openness. You own this device, you feel like it really belongs to you and you can do whatever you want with it without waiting for some genius to tell you that you cannot upgrade your RAM because it's soldered to the motherboard or some stupid things like this. 
I'm currently running elementary OS on my Gazelle, but you can install whatever distribution you like, and you can be pretty much sure that everything will work out of the box. In conclusion, this is a great machine if you're a developer, a software engineer, or if you're a user that really wants to feel the computer like its own. Having the ability to run Linux without any issue, having the ability to swap whatever part you want if you want to replace it, having the ability to maintain and keep your laptop up and running and modern and not being forced to sell it out or change it with a newer model after less than two years because it's outdated, you cannot upgrade it. I'm not sure it will be a good fit for an average user that is not technically skilled, I don't know, or someone that is really used to the simple and kind of dumb Apple design that could be kind of hard to use a machine like that. It's funny how we are seeing the trend right now of these really thin and light devices with so many compromises. Just one type of port, no replaceable battery, not upgradable hardware, not even the ability to open your machine and see what's in inside and most of the time these laptops or these devices are built with the unique purpose of getting replaced in less than a year when a newer model comes in. Instead System76 said nope fuck that this is your computer you can do whatever you want and it's gonna work pretty much forever if you take care of it. And what do you think? Would you consider buying it? Do you already own a System76 machine? Do you run Linux or have you tried to run Linux on an old computer or a modern pre-installed Windows computer and you're having a lot of issues with hardware? Uh, let me know in the comment section below and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want, you can spend a couple of minutes on the System76 website to check everything they have available. They're great, the tech support is amazing, and they're a huge bunch of geeks that you should probably know and love them. So it's fantastic. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.